Hey naturals, welcome to the channel. Dima is my name and on this channel I share lots of natural hair growth DIY contents to improve your hair growth, thickness and health. On this channel we believe that everything that grows out from the soil is a potential hair care product. They are 100% natural, free from harsh chemicals and are great to use on natural hair. You can never go wrong with natural products. Please before you continue watching, kindly subscribe by tapping on the red button on your interface that says subscribe. Also tap on the bell icon to always notify you on our future uploads and please share this video with your family and friends if you enjoyed watching it lastly please ensure you watch this video to the end as all instructions will be stated towards the end of the video so in today's video i'll be sharing a super potent herbal hair spray to grow your hair really long stop breakage stop shedding grow hair on both spots thicken your hair and basically make your hair healthy and shiny to begin grab a jar like so you can use bow or any apparatus you have around you but make sure they are well sterilized to avoid introducing impurities into your hair or gems my very first ingredient is cloves i make use of cloves buds please if you have the powder feel free to use the powder if that's what you have so cloves promotes hair growth and reduces hair fall too it helps to solve the problem of hair thinning it keeps scalp fresh and reduces scalp infection it also provides a cooling sensation and keeps you fresh it adds some nice and fresh smell to your hair as it's full of antioxidants it acts as a conditioner it keeps hair smooth and makes them manageable imparting a decent shine you guys already know that clothes is our favorite on this channel and some of you have got lots of feedbacks to share about this clothes so for the proportion i measured out one tablespoon of the clothes pot into my jar Moving on to the next ingredient, which is our favorite on this channel, we are going to be making use of hibiscus, hibiscus flowers, dried hibiscus flowers. For those of you in Nigeria, this is called zobo. These are zobo leaves. These are dried zobo leaves that you can get in any Nigerian market from those malams that sell uh, dried items in the market those that sell in wheelbarrows hibiscus flowers aka zobo leaves is best known for its aesthetic appeal but the beautiful plant has long been touted for its hair care benefits for a variety of issues ranting from dandruff to dry damaged hair and most famously hair loss for the proportion, I measured out one teaspoon of the hibiscus flowers into my jar. Hibiscus keeps hair healthy and conditioned, thickens and volumizes hair, treats dandruff, prevents split ends, and decreases hair loss. Moving on to my next ingredient, which is aloe vera. I made use of a sizable fresh aloe vera leaves like so. I actually tied it up to put in my fridge just to preserve it with foil paper. So this is the size that we are going to be using for today's recipe. For the benefits, aloe vera has many active ingredients and minerals that can help strengthen your hair. It has fatty acids and amino acids and is rich in vitamins A, B12, C and E. These play a part in healthy hair follicles they control greasy hair aloe vera has enzymes that break down fats and so strips your hair of any extra oil aloe vera helps treat itchy scalp seborrheic dermatitis is a common inflammatory skin condition that affects your scalp it causes dandruff red skin and scaly patches Researchers have found that aloe vera can significantly decrease the scaliness and itchiness of the scalp. They protect from UV damage. A study found that fresh aloe vera juice offers protection from ultraviolet radiation that comes from the sun. So I started off by cutting off the spikes on the sides of the aloe vera leaf. Next, I placed it on my chopping board 
and began slicing them into tiny pieces after which i cut them in cubes please remember to cut off the yellowish part at the tip of the aloe vera the part where you cut it off from the plant make sure to cut that part off and then make sure to wash your aloe vera thoroughly before use after cutting my aloe vera into cubes i went ahead and transferred that into my jar this is what the cubes looks like Next, I boiled up some water to 100 degrees Celsius and we are going to be adding about 600 ml worth of hot water into our jar. So what we have in the jar is 600 ml worth of hot water for the proportion of the ingredients in it. So we are going to be covering up with foil paper. Remember, this jar came with plastic lid we are not going to be using plastic lid to be covering this hot stuff in the jar because that can interfere with the ingredients. After covering, I infuse the ingredients for 12 hours. If you are running short of time, you can do 8 hours. So we are going to be putting this away on just tabletop and allow it to infuse properly. <music> After infusing for 12 whole hours, here is my result. You can tell that the water in it is now super concentrated than it was. So I'll go ahead and save using my strainer and a bowl to collect my filtrate. After the saving process, after getting my filtrate, I'll go ahead and transfer that into my spray bottle. Please go ahead and use your empty spray bottles from your perfumes and body sprays wash them thoroughly and use them as your hair spray bottles so i went ahead and transferred mine into this bottle and then covered up and this is ready for use you can add essential oils to yours just to spice things up you can also add preservatives that is if you want to prolong the shelf life so our super potent hairspray is ready and i'll go ahead and demonstrate for you all how this should be used you can use this as a tea rinse but this is perfect for use as a leave-in because it works better when you leave them in so i use it as the l in my lco method of moisture routine lco i mean l which is this liquid c which is cream my leave-in conditioning cream or O, which is hair butter cream or hair growth oil, just to seal in all the moisture. So I always work in sections whenever I'm doing anything to my hair, like I always tell you. So you can store this for only five days in the refrigerator. And after five days, you're to use this within five days, basically. And after five days, this goes rancid. Please discard and make a fresh badge. To me, hair tea is more potent than hair mask when you combine one or two Ayurveda together and form a mask and use to apply or to treat your hair. I prefer hair tea because I believe that I get all the benefits embedded in it when I make mine as a tea and use as a living. I get all the benefits than when I use the mask. Hair mask or hair tea, which works perfect for you. I prefer hair spray because... I believe that the ingredients release all their benefits in the hot water when they are infused for longer hours, just like 12 hours we always do on this channel. Tea is packed with good for you nutrients that can help make damaged hair soft and shiny again. The antioxidants it contains work to remove buildup and help your hair absorb nourishing vitamins and minerals as well as protect it from uv rays that can further damage and dry out your hair this leaves your hair soft shiny and most importantly healthy if you're for hairspray or hair tea please comment down below 
Team Hetty. If you're for hair mask, also comment down below. Type Team Hair Mask. Lastly, if you watch this video up to this point, kindly comment hi for me in the comment section below and I will understand. Thank you so much for always returning to watch my videos. I deeply appreciate you. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your family and friends. That will help us reach enough audience. I really do appreciate you. Thank you. And I will see you in my next video shortly. Bye.